Uh-oh, I don't... Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, uh, 10 seconds. We do our sprawls and our spins. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. So, Joe, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, uh, these students practicing a move for 80 seconds. Now, they didn't start with 80 seconds. When, when the, we started with workout one, we did this for about 60 seconds. And if you're ever, or if you're going to try any of these moves, uh, you're not going to be doing 80 seconds. You're going to be doing whatever is challenging for you, but safe. Joe, you're going to hear me say that word a lot. You're going to hear me say that word a lot. Do something that's challenging. You know, not easy, but make sure it's safe. Don't do something that's going to hurt you, all right? The sprawl, if you can see my screen, the sprawl looks like this. The sprawl is when you stand like this and you put your hands on the dummy and you let your legs come out and you do sort of like a push-up. Okay. See that right there? Right there? That's the sprawl. Can you hear me? Right, here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. And sometimes I get our participants to be a little competitive. Like I'll say, all right, Sierra, or uh, all right, Talia, last time you did 57 in a minute, uh, I, I, for some reason, I just remember the number 57. I don't remember any other numbers, but uh, we've got 80 seconds now to do this next move called the Toriando. So I'm thinking you guys can do at least 57, maybe 60. 60 would be nice. And Joe, once they start, I'll explain what they're doing, okay? And watch these ladies, too. And watch this guy, Erica and Sierra and Talia. Five, four, three, two, one, go! So you see them kind of like jumping back and forth, left and right and left and right? So what they're doing is this is simulating somebody on their back. Remember I was talking to you about our opponent and ourselves, we can use four parts. We can use arms and legs. So those arms that are sticking up in the air from the dummy simulate the opponent's legs. And so what we're doing is we're learning how to just get around them. We're just learning how to just move around those legs. And of course, we're doing it in a physical, athletic way to challenge ourselves. And um, they didn't start out like this. They, didn't, they weren't as fast and as good as this right now. It took them you know, five weeks to get there. But it's tiring. And I would need time to explain to you details in the footwork. But you guys are doing great. We're going to ask Talia what, what she got to. And it better, be, it better be at least 60. That looks like a good 60 pace for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess like she's going to tell us 62. That's what I think. Let's find out. Five, four, three. Two, uh-oh, one. Oh, my gosh. Joe, did you see that? Talia stopped three seconds early. What'd you I get? I thought this was time, and then I looked. Oh, no. What'd you get? 65. Oh, right. I was thinking 62. You got 65. Sarah, what'd you get? 66. 66? Eric. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that um, the last workout, I might have done like, I don't know, 67, 68. I, I don't know what it is. So, And I was moving. So if you guys got up in those numbers, that is, that is impressive. Good job. All right, next up, back step pass. These two moves, Joe, are all about getting by people's legs. Three, two. One, go. So these next two techniques are about standing 
and somebody on their back looking at you like a tiger or a cat with their legs and their arms in front of you, right? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get by those arms. We're trying to get by those legs. We're trying to get by their offense and then put ourselves in a position where we've got them maybe in like a pin or we're controlling them. We're trying to get their legs out of the picture. We're trying to like, like get those two main weapons out of the way so that we can attack. All right. And again, I need time to explain and show and demonstrate, but, um, uh, again, they're making this not just, a, uh, you know, like a time to practice a move, but challenge themselves physically too, and, uh, get a workout from it. Hmm. 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. So this next move is fun. In fact, uh, wasn't Junior and Christina talking about the top mount armbar this week, guys? And wasn't he talking about like, uh, and Christine was talking about a low mount and then a high mount and then the S mount. I think we've talked about that stuff. So incorporate all those little details. And I think Christina also mentioned when you get to the S mount, not to like dally, get that other leg around the head. And I think Sierra, we've been making a lot of progress with that, right? Just making that one continuous movement. Just letting that leg come around the head. So we're going to – I'm going to count you this time, Sierra. How many are you going to get? All right, that's going to force your leg around the head. Get ready. Get into your mount position. All right, let's go. So Sierra is um, the one in the purple pants. And if you watch her, all right, she just did two. She's sitting on top of the dummy in a position called the mount, which is a, a dominant position. It's a position where bullies like to be and hold people down, right? And if we are in a position like that, obviously we're in control, uh, but we can do things like slap them, punch them, and of course attack the arms. And that's what they're doing right now. They're, they're, they're coming around and they're, grabbing a hold of the enemy's arm and engulfing it like hugging it and then coming backwards and with just minimal effort lifting the hips a lot like the bridge we did today and breaking the arm i mean that'll snap an arm off a person like a like a leg of chicken <laughs> that is a no joke move right there that's a that's a big time movement it's one of the things you learn somewhat early on and it's just like it's like an epiphany it's like wow i didn't know a, the human body could do something like that three two one time all right sierra what'd you get 10 12. 12. awesome good job Joe, later on today, we have a, uh, a like a, a jujitsu like gathering. It's called the J BJJ Zoom Room, and uh, it's really cool. I'll be telling you all about it after the workout today. Okay, so if you can make it, it'd be cool. Yeah, I will. Uh, next up, you guys. All right, now now comes the weightlifting component. So they're going to do a move called the deadlift. They grab the like I didn't. Uh, I'll tell you all about it once they start moving. Okay. But uh, make sure your dummies are in position, guys. And extend your hips all the way out. Ready? Three, two, one. All right. So this is not a technique. This is not a jujitsu martial arts move. This is actually kind of like weightlifting, honestly. And it's part of the exercise uh, component that we do in the class. So you're a strong guy. I know you've been to a gym a few times. You know what a deadlift is, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're just doing deadlifts, but they're doing it because 
or they're doing it um, by grabbing a belt that is tied onto the dummy in a very specific way. And I need, I need, a I need time to show you how to do that. In mm -hmm. fact, maybe what I should do is just mail you a, a, a belt or we'll, we'll talk about it. Maybe you have a rope, uh, but it's got to be at least six feet, maybe seven, maybe even eight feet long. And I need to show you how to tie it around the dummy so you have these anchors that you can grab a hold of. Okay. I think Eric's uh, screen's really clear. You see what he's doing there, right? He's just grabbing that dummy and he's standing over top of it and he's pulling it up. That looks like good form too, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ah, what'd you get, Eric? You know how many, Eric? Were you counting? <laughs> I just like to know because uh, it's the competitive part of me, too. And I'm trying to get you to compete with yourself. And, uh, you know, if you know that you could do 10, maybe next time you try to do 11 course you do them correctly and you do them safely one arm rows you guys got your dummies tied at the ankles so this is joe this is the bent over row maybe you remember doing this in the gym you got a bench out you lean your knee and your arm on it and you hold this delt dumbbell and you lift the dumbbell to your rib cage and you lower it down we're doing bent over rows without a bench two one, go. And you know what? This is going to be really, I think, fun for you too. I mean, I know that you want to learn the martial arts and, and all that too, but getting fit and getting in shape and feeling healthy and getting strong, I mean, that's just as important. You know what I mean? And so uh, since we have a, a dummy, uh, it's a wonderful tool uh, in that capacity. How you doing over there, Eric? You're not hurting your back, are you? Yeah, this 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 is no joke. I this is hard to do right here. For myself, I do maybe 10, 12, and I switch to my other arm and I do 10 and 12. I mean, everybody you see here has the same dummy as you, Joe, except Eric. Eric's dummy is a little different brand, I think. Maybe not. Maybe he's got the same one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, so Eric, I'm a little worried about your back. How's your back feeling? Yeah, back's pretty good. All right, I'm worried just because of the stance you're taking. So with the bent over row, what you want to do is you want to get sort of like in this like athletic stance like this, like not, oh, not, okay. not feet together like this, right? Feet, like I, there's no way I could do this safely without my back hurting like that. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get my legs spread almost like a fighting stance. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, like oh. a leg stance. And then what I do yeah. is I, I grab the, the, uh, the dummy here. And I try to get good posture in my back and lift to here. If That's I easy. have to, I'll put a hand on the knee, but that really is a crutch. I should get rid of that. I should get rid of that. I should get rid of that and challenge my midsection and my core. All right, next up, military press. Sierra, I could take a picture of that. That looks perfect. Nice. I like how you're leaning in, too, the way I was talking about. And you could try that, too, Talia. Or maybe even, Talia, you might be able to throw that dummy in the air. Can you throw it? Yeah, like that. <laughs> there you go. Did you catch what I was telling them there, Joe? <laughs> You see that lady in the bottom, how she's trying to throw that dummy? 
it's probably not going to be thrown too much longer here. <laughs> that thing starts to get hit. There we go. Now, Talia, just push it like you're doing. Maybe even lean into it. Yeah, like that. Make sure your hips go with you. Bring your hips with you when you lean in. Yeah. Yeah, like that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's like, how can you not get in shape doing that? How, how can you not? I mean, like, that's challenging. I, I was watching you guys. You guys were really working, working hard. I think that the leaning thing, uh, what it does is it just gives us a different angle uh, on the shoulders. So, for instance, like a push-up is a horizontal push. Uh, the military press is a vertical push. A lot of times, like in weight training, they talk about horizontal, vertical, and whether you're pulling or pushing. You can break exercises into those four components. Actually, there's another component. There's a rotational component, too. I'll talk more about this in a little bit, but we, next up, one-arm grips. So <clears throat> watch their faces here, Joe. Okay, the faces tell a lot if we can see that detail because because what they're working on now is grip strength. They're grabbing a hold of a belt and they're just holding it statically. And as you know, that dummy is heavy as hell. And holding it with one arm like that is tough. I'll give you guys um, a uh, 60, 80, a 40 second uh, mark. That's halfway in case you need to switch hands. Three, two, one. That's 40 seconds. That's halfway if you need to switch. If not, keep doing what you're doing. So grip strength is really important <clears throat> because you're like we're always grabbing and touching or doing something in some way, whether we're being offensive or whether we're being defensive. And when you grab something with with strength, after a while that grip gets weak, and we don't want that to happen. We want to like work on that grip strength. Five, four. Three, two, one, time. All right, that's halfway, guys. Halfway. Hmm. Something about sitting on a dummy that's restful. <laughs> you know, sometimes what I'll do is I'll slide down and just let my butt sit on the floor and I'll lean against the dummy. I was going to have a class outside in the parking lot today for kickboxing, but not in the rain. All right, we're next up on sprawls and spins. Sprawls and spins. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Go. The spin is a cool move because when somebody tries to like tackle you, like a football player would try to tackle your legs, mm -hmm. what you do is you sprawl, which means you throw your legs backwards and then you try to like smash their body with your body. And then the spin is basically repositioning to attack from a stronger angle. 
That's basically the, the martial arts explanation of what's, what they're doing. Sprawl and then spin. We'll, we'll cover the sprawl probably in the next lesson. Three, two, one, time. I remember years ago, like decades ago, just watching some backyard films of like Brazilian jiu-jitsu and MMA fighters uh, training together, getting ready for fights. And they would just make like a circle, maybe six of them. And they would just do sprawls for, it looked like a half hour, maybe even an hour. They would just do sprawls and just more sprawls. And they looked like they were sweaty and tired. And I mean, I could, I could see why. I mean, just doing 80 seconds of that's tiring. Imagine doing a half hour. Of course, these guys were world-class, young, in their 20s. Toriandos. Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. So Toriando in Portuguese means um, the uh, uh, bullfighting or the bullfighting pass. So a lot of moves in Brazilian jiu-jitsu are in Portuguese because, well, that's what they speak in Brazil. And then some of the moves are in Japanese because, well, judo came from Japan. And some of the moves are in English because, well, the English is the translation of some of those Portuguese and Japanese words. So you'll often hear me refer to moves in Portuguese or Japanese or English, or I might make up my own word for something. Thirty seconds, guys. Sixty sevens the mark. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. You don't have to tell me how many. Just is it close to what you did first round? Head and signals work like this. Like, eh, almost. Or, bump, bump, bump. <laughs> like, not today, Gary. Or like, yep, I did good. And if, like, you, if you did great, not just good, put two thumbs up. Oh, and what does this mean, Talia? This means I'm messing up. <laughs> It's like, hold on, Gary. You're, you're, we're, we can't we can't see you, or you're on the wrong move, or you know something's off. You know this. That's what that is. Hey, by the way, for the deaf that can't um, hear, this is the way they clap. This is yay! All right, back step pass. And again, hey, Joe, we'll go over all these moves uh, eventually. I don't want you to be in any rush. And, and certainly don't be discouraged and think, oh, my gosh, what, what the heck? How can I do what these guys are doing? You will be one day doing what these guys are doing. But <clears throat> either, either you're going to be with these guys or we're going to have probably the next round of beginners coming up the ranks. Uh you know, at their own level, you know what I'm saying? We'll see how it is. I mean, this, this COVID-19 and this uh, era of Zoom, this is all new for me like it is for you guys. <laughs> 20 seconds. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Keep moving. Nice. I like that style, Eric. Ten seconds. Come on, Eric. Get two more. One more here. One more here. Good. Now give me one more. Give me one more. One more. One more. Come on. Good job. Good.
So Joe, Eric here is our, I'm still trying to figure out a name for it. The BJJ fight analyst, the professor of uh, fights, or we got to come up with a title, you know, something, you know, but uh, tonight at our BJJ Zoom room, uh, Eric is going to bring us uh, two professionals that are competing and he's going to analyze it, break it down and explain what it is we're watching. It's really cool. It's a really interesting thing that we do on every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, next up, we've got the arm bar, right? Arm bar from the mount. Sierra, you got 12 last time. Let's get 13. All right, let's go. 13. Woo! Try to get back up, get back up, get back up. Good. Get back up part. That takes a lot of time. There's two. Come on. All of our moves, Joe, not just in jujitsu, but anything in life for that matter, when you practice them, them enough, you, you don't think about it anymore. You just do. You don't think, you just do. And, and, and really, it's just a result or aspect of your training. If you just put in the training and you practice, it happens. You don't have to try. It just happens. You know, so you let the training do its thing. And one day you'll just like do a move and you'll be like, well, damn, I didn't think about that. 20 seconds. Come on, Sierra, get that 13. You might be able to get another two, maybe another three. Here we go. There's one. You got eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Sierra, we're waiting. What's the news? Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> All right, I got so excited I fell over. <laughs> you know, in my kids' kung fu class, I stand like this and they throw punches at me. And I block, and if they get me, I, 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 I they get me. <laughs> the kids, they love doing that. They love just slapping me off my chair. All right, we're into the weightlifting phase, deadlifts. You have to turn your dummies over, get a hold of that waistband. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, go. You like the uh, the big green screen and the time, Joe, and how that's kind of displayed like that? Yes, I do. Yeah, so if ever you're in a situation where you don't have a computer and you just have your cell phone, you can read the time, you know when we go, you know when we stop. It's, it's clear, you know, and then I'm actually improving the interface and I'm actually um, insetting a window where you're going to see me demonstrating the move more clearly so that you don't have to squint your eyes and look at these little squares. You can actually see like the move being done. And uh, that's for when we're ready to start doing the moves that you've learned in an exercise fashion. You know, right now you're just learning. There's no pressure to be fast and powerful with it. Just learn the moves first. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you want me to mute my button? No, nah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. It's just before when we were doing the computer and the phone, there was some kind of feedback uh, coming through that was uh, disruptive. But right now you're cool. It's working. Right. All righty. Uh, one arm rows. So remember, Eric, try to just, all you got to do is just put your feet in an athletic, strong fashion. 
so you don't have to like put all that strain into your lower back. Yeah, like that. That's what I'm talking about. If you need to put an elbow on your other knee, I get it. Sometimes like if your back is a little twitchy, you need that little extra support. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. We're almost finished this workout, guys. <clears throat> almost. Yeah, usually I do this um, with a dumbbell. But haven't touched a dumbbell in months. There are a lot of people at home that are, are just doing nothing. E even athletes, people that are members and have been doing jujitsu for years, just sitting at home doing nothing. And they could be doing something. Thirty seconds. Whatever you guys do, don't let your back hunch. Good neutral spine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One time. All righty. There's daylight. We got daylight coming. Actually, not outside. It's still raining, but daylight in terms of like you can see the end of the workout. It's coming. It's almost there. Military press. So, since Talia, I know that you're capable of throwing that dummy. You got to do that again. You got to chuck them. You got to chuck those legs, catch them. And then at some point, you just won't be able to do that anymore. And then you just start doing the military press. I'm the same way. I, I was chucking that thing and I was like near the end, unable to. And then I started just pressing. This is the developing power component. You're going to develop power, not just strength. Ready, go. If the dummy is upside down on the arms, that's a problem because the dummy will be off balanced. So you got to spin him on his back with his, there you go, Talia. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that earlier. Yeah. Otherwise, the dummy's legs go flying to the, there you go. Nice, Eric. Hey, if, if that's the only picture I saw, and I didn't know what I was looking at. And I didn't know I was in a jujitsu workout class. I'd be like, what the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> what the heck is that? You know, because it looks like you're holding a person and they're all bent, standing on their head. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Hey, so Talia, you figured something out there, didn't you? Yeah, you figured out that you can't do the plyometric uh, military press. You can't throw the legs out in space while the dummy's upside down. Because what happens is the arms get all like weird and the dummy goes flying from it and then it veers off laterally. It starts falling to the left and the right and it's just like, that's just too heavy. You can't you can't really be catching it like that. I'd like to see a day where maybe in the gym we're so good and so strong that we can take that dummy and throw his butt over so he falls 
over there. He falls over there. I'd like to see somebody do that. I can't do it. I want to do it one day. All right, last exercise, guys. One arm grips. All right, let's go. This is the last one here. Breathing. Focus on your breathing. Be surprised what breathing can do for you. When I was a young man, I started learning breath and, and, and aspects of the breath. I learned that it could defer pain. It could like set aside pain. And then I decided one day when I had to go get a cavity, I told the dentist not to give me Novocaine. <laughs> and I did it. I actually did it. Well, I did it. Now, I'm thinking in retrospect, it must have been a little cavity, not down deep, you know, because I went and I did it again. And then all of a sudden, I was like, woo! I was like, I need that coat Novocaine. <laughs> you know, or maybe, maybe I just wasn't doing something right. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, bring it on in, guys. Bring it on in. So usually what we do here is we take, uh, while the sweat is at its pinnacle, we take a screenshot. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, I'm not going to be sweaty with you guys today, but all right, you guys, good job. Hey, so, uh, hey, let's give a hand to Joe here, guys, all right? I give a hand to you guys. Yeah, I'm, I, hey, they were working hard, weren't they? Oh, wow. I mean, just, just look at their faces. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, so um, Tuesdays, Thursdays now, 10.30, uh, fundamentals. If you want to come, if you want to check it out, I'm talking about things like bridging. I'm talking about things like heisting. I'm talking about things like turtle, um, shrimping. Um, you know, just real basic fundamentals from the, from the ground up. And of course, all of this is going to be recorded and put into the portal. You guys can always go back later, watch the portal. That's another thing too, Joe. When you get to the portal, you'll see not today, but you'll see eventually this workout will be recorded. It'll, it'll be titled. It'll be, you know, it'll tell you, you know, what the um, workout number is. And I think this is number 14 or 15. You'll be able to see the whole thing from the beginning. All right. So, uh, and, and last thing, um, Joe, and, and we'll hang out just a little bit because I want to make sure you get all the information. But tonight at six o'clock, six o'clock, right? Six o'clock. Yeah, we do a, a BJJ uh, Zoom room. All right. So, uh, hey, thanks, everybody. I'll see you guys. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Welcome, Joe. Welcome. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. Be safe. All right. So, Joe, hang out for a little bit. All right.